NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Luckily, we're not dealing with any wet weather right now, really. No, we're not really seeing any wet weather uh, in the extended forecast besides two days. So out of the Which next are, yeah, 10. The weekend. Right. Unfortunately, not the best timing, but we've got a lot of enjoyable weather overall, so it's hard to complain. Uh, definitely not dealing with any flooding concerns as we move along either, so that's some good news. But yeah, really out of the next 10 days, I think only two of them are uh, where we have some rain in the forecast, unfortunately, this weekend. But here's the overall pattern uh, as we move ahead the rest of the work week tomorrow and Friday. We have a big ridge of high pressure near us, so we keep a lot of sun in the forecast. We also keep some warm conditions with us. Temperatures near 80 the next couple days. As we look ahead though to, to this weekend, what we'll have is an upper level low shifting in. So for the upcoming weekend, we start to cool off a bit. We'll see some shower chances really both days. And then even early next week, the upper level low will still be pretty close by on Monday. So I think as we kick off the upcoming work week, we still stay a little cooler than average. So here's a look at our temperature trend. Low 80s tomorrow in the Champlain Valley with the sun, upper 70s for Friday, and then Saturday a little bit cooler in the mid 70s. But see that taste of fall I was hinting to? That comes in on Sunday especially with highs in the mid 60s and even for Monday, we're only close to 70 degrees. So. Here's the view of Storm Tracker across the northeast right now. A big area of high pressure is just off to our south. That's what gave us the nearly full sunshine and the warm temperatures today. That high pressure not going very far the next couple days. So it's looking nice for Thursday and Friday. Mostly clear on Storm Tracker for now. Temperatures definitely starting to cool off. We're down to 50 in Saranac Lake, 59 in St. J, a 57 for Springfield. Still sitting in the upper 60s though in Burlington right now. So one of our milder spots. We we have dew points in the upper 40s to low 50s, so there's hardly any stickiness to the air. We have a very dry air mass, low humidity with us tonight, and we'll have comfortable low levels of humidity the rest of the work week this weekend and into the upcoming work week as well, looking like the air stays nice and comfortable. So overnight tonight, mostly clear and cool, and for tomorrow, nearly full sunshine, really from start to finish. We'll have those temperatures near 80. And then for Friday, one more day with a lot of sunshine. There may be some patchy fog or uh, some areas of low clouds towards the Connecticut River first thing. But besides that, it's a dry day with a lot of sun from start to finish. A little breezy on Friday, too, out of the south. But uh, overall, a nice day. And then for Saturday, what we'll have is a cold front approaching from the west. I think the driest part of Saturday, as we've been saying, is the morning. Even some breaks of sun likely. If there are any showers, they'd be towards the St. Lawrence Valley in particular Saturday morning. But then by the early afternoon, the showers become more widespread across northern New York. And I think this batch of showers will pivot east into Ver uh, Vermont by the late afternoon and evening hours of Saturday. So keep that in mind. But for tonight, it's mostly clear. We're cool. Most towns fall into the 50s. I think the highest elevations into the Northeast Kingdom and the Adirondack Park dip into the 40s. Some patchy fog possible in the valleys. And for tomorrow, full sunshine, low humidity, a high of 80 in Keysville, 79 in Malone, Burlington, 82 tomorrow, a 77 for Lindenville and southern spots, the full sun, a high of 80 in Springfield. So the next couple of days, gorgeous, a lot of sun, highs near 80. And then for the weekend, we have some showers on Saturday, mostly the afternoon and evening. There'll be a few hit or miss showers on Sunday. Don't think it's a washout at all. It's just cooler in the 60s. And for the upcoming work week, it's dry, lots of sun, highs in the 70s, looking really nice.